All right, what's up, guys? It's Mitch Ordidi. I know it's been a few days since I made a video, but I told you in the last part of the guide, be farming and saving. So as you see here, I've been farming unrecorded history nonstop, and it glitched. This is normal. It happens all the time. But I have been stocking resources as much as possible. So we can go into my enhancement ingredients, and I think my powders in here. You can see I have a 1,000 of a bunch of powders. I have a ton of charms, right side charms. I've been doing lab. We are to Malachus's sink or Malachus's consciousness. In terms of lab, I know I still need to do Abyss. I know you guys are waiting for Abyss. I'm trying to do my best. I'm trying to play my main account. And there was Epic 7 World Cup. We're watching that. And I do need some time for myself. So I'm trying to do my best. But we are going to be clearing Malachus Consciousness. We need to get this protection gear. We need to get this um, this gear here. But today's purpose of the video is a lot of you guys aren't really sure what you should be doing. So I have now set up the next portion of what, now that you've been saving up, you need to go into your character list. And I have the uh, thing right here. We are not going to do crafting today, or we will, but in a second part of the video, I plan on doing a crafting session tonight to gear up our characters. So before we get into anything, we are going to pull up this. Here is a giant notepad with a bunch of stuff on it. So if we look here, this is going to be our RTA getting into it. So if you are trying to get into RTA, this is the point we're getting into RTA. We're going to be clearing Malika's Consciousness and we're going to be doing Hell Raids and all of that stuff. That will come. Make sure you clear all of Malika's Consciousness first. If you have cleared all of Malika's Consciousness, just go back and start 100%ing some of the floors and it will be fine. So just try to try to full clear that. Make sure you're burning your tokens every day. If you want to, you can start buying the uh, lab entry tokens if you do want to. If you don't want to go back 100% or maybe you've already done that. But make sure you are doing lab every day to get your right side charms. Those right side charms are going to be very detrimental to get into RTA. So whenever we are doing this, you need to establish your first pick characters. Mediator, Kyrak, Arrowell, Yulha, Spectani, Angel of Light are some good options. Anything that I'm talking about here, if you need a picture to see all the characters you have and see where they would fit, you need to go into the Day 19 guide and look at that. It will have a picture showing where most of those characters are. Um, where I would put them. So a lot of information is going to be coming your way here. But first, we're going to get what you need to be building. So second, build two tanks. Arrowell, if you have Arrowell, specialty changer, she's the number one option. Yulha, Krau, two great options. If you don't have either, it's fine. I don't have them on my account as well. Crimson Armin is a great character. Four-star character. Some of you may have got her from your Moonlight Summons or from Covenants. Crimson Armin would be a great secondary one to pair with Arrowell. Um, you need w at least two. So next up, if you have Last Rider Crowd, that would work too, but I'm trying to pick the easiest characters. Raz is fine. If you have to do Raz, you'll use him for as little time as you can until you get a better option, but he will work for getting into RTA. Falcon or Clary would be the number two pick for anyone who doesn't have any of the other options. I would say Airwell and Falcon or Clary are going to be your go-to knights, but Raz does fill the knight role better than Flurry. Flurry is using are usually filled for another role, which we'll talk about. And Fire Lilies can be okay, but she doesn't really fit the knight role. She doesn't, you don't usually use her for mitigation, but she can work for that. So here are just a couple options. Again, refer to the video earlier. Now you need to at least have four to six damage dealers. I have set you guys up, if you've been following the guide, where you should have Spec 10, Fire Mercedes, Shoe, and Aiden guaranteed. That's four. Those are four damage dealers to get into RTA, and you should be chilling from there. You will need to build more. You will need to go and research what characters are good. If you have Moonlight Landy, if you have um, certain Moonlight characters, they're gonna be great. Apocalypse Ravi's amazing. You need to figure out which characters are good. And that is, again, I'm going to suggest the Discord, guys. We're at almost 6,000 people in there. We're helping thousands of people a day. If you guys need help on figuring out what to do next, get in the Discord. You might have to ask multiple times. The chats are insanely active. If you don't get an answer right away, just try multiple times. You got to remember there are thousands and thousands of people getting into RTA right now. They all need help. Your question, whether it gets answered first time or second time, if someone else sees that answer, it's going to help them as well. So just keep that in mind. Don't expect just to type in there one time and immediately get the best answer. But Discord is going to be your gateway into RTA to learn from the people who are also trying to do it, plus the people who have been doing it for five years like me. We have a bunch of those in there as well. So that is my best advice. If you're not sure which characters to work on, watch the Day 19 video. If you're still unsure, post your character list in Discord and you'll get some help. So next up, we have Selene and Politus. These are two decent damage healing options. Politus has fallen off pretty hard. Lionheart Sermia would be good here. There's a ton of different things. Politus is not too great right now, but still definitely good. Uh, she just 
gets countered very easily in the current meta. So I don't really suggest Politus too, too much, but um, if you have other options, but because it's about knowing where to play her, but I'm going to be getting her for everybody that does have her. I'll be showing how to play her because she's one of the characters that's a little bit harder to not get punished for playing right now. So next up, you need to build two minimum cleansers. Minimum. If you do not have two cleansers, you are going to probably suffer an RTA badly. Destina Meteor Cowork, best two. De Meteor Cowork's probably going to be your best first pick for getting into RTA. Um, this, either Meteor Cowork or Arrowell. I think Arrowell would be number one. Meteor Cowork would be best, for, or, uh, best first pick. Those two. One or the other. If you can get either of them, you're going to be be able to formulate a draft from there depending on where they go but destina there's a reason i told you to get her from selective summon she is the number two overall option meteor cowork is number one if you do not have destina say you didn't uh you decided to get a seria from the thing because everybody was telling you a seria is a must-have um at that point fire acades can work not great light acades the new moonlight acades can work also not great but can work Fire Lilies is a cleanser. There are some other cleansing options that you can dabble in and see if um, they could work for you. So um, I did not put counter picks as one of these, but the biggest thing is make sure you have two tanks, four to six damage dealers, two cleansers. That's already eight minimum characters. You should have um, at least six star and six star awakened. So when I'm telling you guys this, you need to be getting those six star and six star awakened. Next up, you need anti-cleave. Guys, if you do not have anti-cleave, you are going to struggle. So with anti-cleave, best early picks. If you see them pick Zeo, immediately Aiden. If you see them pick Ran or anything that is a fast character, you will learn this over time. Just pick Aiden right away. Um, just slap her down. She becomes a must ban for them or they have to counter pick her. So Aiden is always your first pick into that. Senya is going to be another great pick. Fire Mercedes is okay for anti-cleave. Sometimes she works, sometimes she doesn't. It's a gamble. But you guys got to remember your new players... Um, if you're following the guide and uh, once we gear our characters, you're going to be able to beat people that have been playing for years just because you have the proper characters and everything. So just know you will lose a ton of games getting into it. But I'll talk about that later. Arrowell is a great pick. So Shu, Selene, and Politus. These are all characters that can be used for anti-cleave. Most cleavers, if they're experienced, they'll be able to play against them very easily. Shu is just an RNG factor, but Selene and Politus likely will be able to play against them very easily um, but early on you'll be playing other players who are not experienced and you might sneak in a few wins and you'll figure out where those characters can be used so Celine is a very new player friendly character and uh, punishes new players too so the thing is normally Celine, it's just about not using your skills a lot of rta isn't just a draft it's your choices within the game so don't think just because you lost a draft and feel like you're helpless that you're not going to end up winning that game i've had like 20 games on stream the last couple of days where i won that i was like how in the world did i win this so and there's also the rng aspect so you could have a game completely won and it takes one dual attack and you'll lose so now debuffers debuffers are very very nice to have uh you don't have to have them to play efficiently but having them as extra options just gives you a more well-rounded out draft that is why i heavily suggest sharoon so i would take sharoon over Politus from the selector um but i think i'm going to take Politus to make it harder on myself but sharoon right now is super super strong um, next up, Senya. That is why I say Senya is the first story summon character to get. Senya is going to be great for um, anti-cleave. Next up, Aiden. Or well, I already got that. Well, debuffers. Sorry, Senya is great for debuffing. I got lost. Senya. If you they do not have an immunity giver or cleanser, Senya can just win you the game by putting blind and um, provoke on them, and they can keep the entire enemy team locked down the entire game. So Senya can fit that role pretty good depending on everything. Angel of Light Angelica is one of the best debuffers in the game, if not the best. So if you have Angel of Light, she's pretty easy to gear on a usable set. So she is fine, especially change Carrot. So those of you that are Moonlight Landy enjoyers, those of you that got lucky and got Moonlight Landy, having specially changed Carrot and uh, Inferno Kawazu, SC or specially changed Carrot, so free or a three star, it's not free, but you're going to have her. So getting her specialty change done, it's good for really anybody. She she does pretty decent in the current meta. Again, somehow she came back. She's not great, but she can work sometimes. Next up is um, Inferno Kawazu. He's actually very, very good for everybody. If you have Inferno Kawazu, easy to gear, 
Um, does a ton of damage, can one-shot characters. Uh, he's very, very good right now. So two, two characters that I've learned actually have a lot of potential because of the RTA meta change over the last two weeks. Like this, we I didn't know this two weeks ago whenever I was making the guide, but that's the thing is characters come in and out of the meta. So just know building some of these characters they're not going to be usable later, or they might not be usable for a year, and then they'll get buffed and you can use them again. But that is one thing with Epic 7, is it is constantly changing. Every time a character gets buffed, there's a potential that it's not going to work very good in six months, and then it might come back later. So just know that going forward. Uh, when you invest in a character, they won't be usable. Well, they'll be usable forever, but maybe not as good as they were when you originally built them. So debuffers are nice, but I'm not going to say that you have to build them to play RTA well, but having Sharoon is a huge game changer once you learn how to play her. So next up, speed rep or speed or build, or, or sorry, disruptors and speed contest. This is the hardest part for new players. You need at least one character that's 250 speed or above, or you need Politus, Selene, some kind of characters to disrupt them. So without having this, you don't have to have it, but without having it, it makes it way, way harder to compete. I'll just say you, if you just had one 250 speed character, which after my gearing video tomorrow or later today when I'm crafting gear, you'll see how easy it is to get a 250 speed character. So it's most of you, it's gonna be Falcon or Clary at first, um, but C. Lilius is a good option. C. Lilius takes some good gear for her to work well. Piera, Solitaria, Zeo, Zeo you can put on low end gear. He doesn't even have to be on damage gear. Um, you can build him effectiveness just to fill that slot and build him bulky on effectiveness. He will still be a, a nuisance. And Lua is another great option. There are many other options. Like I said, just join the Discord to get advice on other options. But here's the thing. A lot of these characters are just listed. If you can't build them 250 speed, don't build them at all. It's pointless. You're wasting your time. 250 speed, in my opinion, is going to be the minimum for new players. And there are reasons behind that. But also, secondly, if you build them 250 speed, that's not fast enough. You have to pick them fourth or fifth pick in your draft. If you were to build a 250 speed C Lilius and first pick her, you are not going to see very much success. She's probably the character that would do the most for you, but anyone that is experienced at all in the game is going to have multiple 250 characters above 250 that's just going to run you over and your your, your choices were terrible. So I never suggest starting your draft with a 250 speed, even a 260 speed character, 270, any of that. If you're not above 280 speed, don't try to first pick a character below that. It's not going to work too well for you. So... And if you do build them 250, 260, pick them fourth or fifth pick in your draft just to prevent getting, there's a current meta out that is called Stray's Leica. Um, if you draft four slow characters and your opponent had first pick, they will pick Stray's Leica at the end of their draft and you will lose every time. So it is a way to help avoid that by, inf if you, on your fourth pick, pick Falcon or Clary, 250 speed. Um, hopefully the people you're fighting at lower ranks will not have proper gear and you'll be able to lock down if they were to do that to you. But you don't see that too often lower ranks. But there are going to be, here's the thing, you guys are going to be fighting lower, what seem to be lower in players, but some of the people you'll play in placements because it's the end of the RTA season right now, um, you're going to be fighting some super whales. It's just going to happen. The matchmaking in this game isn't great. You're just going to have to take some L's. Just expect it. You're going to have to take some L's. It's frustrating. But uh, just don't, just look at that as you just are going to lose. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, it just... Try to mentally get through that. I know it's going to be frustrating for a lot of you, but you're going to have a negative win rate. Some some people already have positive win rates and they're already in Challenger. They've been following the guides. But some of you, depending on your luck on everything, you're going to have a negative win rate and it's going to take you a little bit longer to um, get everything established. But it's fine. From right here, you're pretty good and you'll be able to at least play the game every day and continue learning even when you're out of stamina. So now, disrupting characters are going to be Selene, Politus, Lilius. Disrupting characters, there's more Angel of Light Angelica can fit into this. She CR pushes herself if your other characters get hit. There's a lot of characters that fit this role. These are like three common ones I could think of off the top of my head. Disruptors are your ability to build a slow character that will help you fight those fast players. So by utilizing disrupting characters properly, you can um, basically not worry about speed. Like if people are too fast, um, early on, you'll be able to still deal with them to an extent. So, disrupting characters are super nice. Celine, Politus, Fire Lilies, Angel, Angelica. There's a ton more, but 
those are characters that can help get you through the nightmare of being slow at the beginning of the game so now and doing that you can beat players that you would never normally should not be able to beat like if you pick if you pick your draft properly and on free gear and early crafted gear you can beat like my main account if you draft properly like your senior could just solo my whole account so or whole draft there's there you, you even though someone's been playing longer than you, does not mean they are going to beat you. And even if they have spent $10,000 on the game, you're free to play. There's a good chance you can still beat them once you know what you're doing. Okay, now example starting RTA rosters. We're going to have media... All right, hold on. Let me uh, move my face cam for this part. Uh, move it to the other side. So beginning RTA roster starting will look like this. You have Mediator, Cowork, Destina. That fills your cleansers. Mediator, Cowork is the first pick option. Spec 10 Fire Mercedes Shoes, send you Aiden. Five damage dealers, and Spec 10 is the first pick option. Aiden, Arrowell, uh, Falconer, Clary, Sharoon, Selene. So you have Disruptor. You have Falconer, Clary as your speed contest. You have Sharoon as a uh, debuffer. You have Arrowell. You can get away with a uh, different combination of these, by the way. But this is just an example of what you should be trying to get and ready and geared up. Another example would be Meteor, Coward, Destina, Spec 10A. And then you can go Crow Yulha as your tank option, Crimson Armin, um, Selene, Sharoon. Uh, Selene's on both. I don't know why I put her on both, but Sharoon's on both because she's just insane. I highly suggest getting her from the selector. She is very, very good right now. But actually, did I just copy and paste the literal same thing? I did. Okay, but this is most of you are going to have these four characters, or all six of these characters are following the guide. But if you guys need help, if you're a returning player trying to figure this out, and maybe you already have an account with way more characters, come to the Discord. I'm going to be making a returning player guide very soon where it's just going to be one episode video where i'm going to walk you all through how to get your account back established or well at least established so now that we have some examples some quick notes this will be a starting point to learn this is to learn rta building this you, this will get you to masters rta once you know what you're doing once you get this all geared up even just mediocrely and learn how to draft properly you'll be able to achieve masters rta it might take some time you have hundreds of characters to learn what they do but once you learn the draft order how to counter pick you're going to be doing very well it's just going to take some practice. You're not going to instantly go in and be good. You just need to accept that. And again, Discord is your best friend. Um, I've completely stopped account work. I don't have the time right now. Um, so if you're joining Discord, I, someone commented about, like, it seems like I'm pushing everyone in there just to have more potential customers. That's not it. I am trying to help Epic 7 grow. I'm not making any money off you guys joining the Discord. Um, it's just you guys join, you get help. If you don't like the Discord, you can leave. I don't care. I mean, I'm. it's just a system for you to get help. I mean, that's, that's all I can do. <laughs> that's, that is the whole point of it, try to get you guys into RTA. So that was just a fresh... Some of you guys' comments on here are dumb. I will just say that. But now uh, Discord is your best friend. Or so for getting better builds, fixing your drafts, mistakes, all of the things like that. Um, you're going to you're going to have questions you're going to be curious if the build you built on a character is good that's the best place to check just post it in there ask if it's good you can also post it in in-game chat but you're going to get a disaster of different answers so it might work for you but my suggestion is discord so uh but yeah you can it, you can post your character list see what's worth building out of your list how to structure your first example starting rta roster and now again refer to day 19 video so day 19 video is going to show where all the characters placements are, whether or not you should be building certain things, what roles they fill, all of that, that is going to be in day 19 video. And then again, don't be scared to play RTA. We have three days left of season right now. If you're watching this video, when I upload it, go do your placement matches on either last day. If you're following the guide, hopefully we'll have our characters geared, but just go in there and lose 10 games because you get a thousand conquest points for being bronze. If you don't do placements, you get zero conquest points, getting a thousand conquest points. That's worth it for sure. So just go lose 10 placement matches. Just look how the drafting works, get a feel for it. Just go lose. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't, it doesn't save. It's not like that's going to permanently be on a like scoreboard somewhere. Just go lose. And then next RCA season, it gets wiped out and you start fresh. So there's no reason not to just go lose 10 matches. No one's going to see it. The people you fight, they're not going to remember you. It's all good. So now, old players. Last little tidbit. Stop trying to cleave. Old players, if you're below 280 speed, stop trying to cleave. Move that gear. Learn how to play standard for now. And get better speed gear before you start trying to cleave. So many people have watched YC YDCB and think that they can mimic that play style. You can't. That's the reason you're struggling in RTA is because you're trying to mimic someone who spent $50,000 on their account or more and been rolling speed gear forever. Like you are not going to be able to mimic that unless you're like a 
six month to one year old player, depending on how much money you spend and how lucky your gear rolls. A lot of you just need to learn. There are certain characters you should not try to build as a new player. Your early RTA roster, all of these characters listed here are all easy to gear. I'm only showing you the easy to gear characters. Eventually, when you get the good gear, the fast gear, um, the specific like s special gear, you'll build those characters. But it's about building the easy stuff first and then working toward the hard to gear characters. So like last piece, Corinne, um, they take high gear. I mean, some people have suggested to me to make a video over gearing. Um, which characters are easiest to gear. I think that would help a lot of people. Let me know if that's something that I should make if a lot of you are confused on that as to which characters should I do first, what's easy to gear, what's not. Um, I'll try to get that out, but uh, let me know if that's useful because if it is, then I just need to make the video soon. But that's all I have for this. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the game now. Oh, wrong thing. I'm going to go back to the game. So here, this is one important thing to do. Whenever you have your RTA roster, if you know the character is going to be on your RTA roster, hit the star next to him. RT, this star system is nice for RTA. So we know Shu's going to be on our thing. Go through and star all the characters that are going to be on your core RTA roster. We haven't finished Aiden yet. That's part of why I'm struggling. I'm so far behind. But we're going to be using Airwell as a tank. So just go through and star your characters and then check the checklist to make sure you have everything that I notated. You're going to be good to go. I did not talk about Rowana, but she is what would be considered a counter pick. There are some counter pick options that you will be doing. Uh, Rowana, Lionheart, Sermia, a lot of characters fit into that role. But it's not something I'm trying to like push people on right now yet because it's just going to get more confusing. So if you see here, we go star all of our characters. That will be RTA, uh, ones that we need to work on. In terms of PvE, I did get Lionheart Sermia. I'm, I'm going to try not to use her too much when pushing. Um, so I did pull Pierre off daily summon today too. But as of right now, I think that's about it. So looking at this, we have Damage Dealer, Damage Dealer, Disruptor Tank, Damage Dealer, Tank. Uh, first pick, Damage Dealer, Cleansing Character, um, Disrupting Character, uh, Counter Pick Character, Cleansing Character, Anti Cleave. I didn't mention Anti Cleave for the other ones, but Anti Cleave Character, and then another Counter Pick Character. So right there, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 characters getting into RTA. And we will be able to gear these. A lot of these will use the free attack set for our damage dealers. Aiden will be on free attack set. Spectre should be a free attack set. Mercedes, probably free attack set, um, depending on what all gear we get. But mostly, we're going to be using free gear. On our flurry, we're going to be using a lot of these free HP pieces. Um, any of this gear that rolled fast, we're going to be keeping it on her. So this one and this one will keep on her. This one, maybe. But we're going to be using a ton of free gear to get an RTA. I mean, whenever I pushed RTA, uh, the 30-day Masters Challenge, by the way, I made it to champion on that account at like 32 days. But whenever we were getting into that, most of my characters were on free gear, and a lot of my characters were on plus 12 right side gear. For like my tank options, I had plus 10 right side gear on my tank, or 12, on like my Sharoon and characters like that. So just know you can get to Masters RTA if you know what you're picking and learn without even upgrading your gear fully and using free gear. So the people that think Masters RTA is some pipe dream, long shot, it's not. That's all I got for this video, though. Make sure you're getting this. So once you get all your characters decided on, make sure you're six-star awakening them. You are six-starring them. You're level 60 them, all of that. Um, and then if you have any questions, join the Discord. That's all I got. The Discord just, uh, link will be in the description and the top of the comments pinned. So hopefully this will help you. Some of you guys that are stuck, this is the next thing to work on. Um, other than that, we'll be doing Hell Raid Labs and things like that in the near future. But a lot of these P PvP characters we're building will be used in Lab as well. So we're trying to kill two birds with one stone. I'm also going to be doing uh, Expedition Level 2 and 3 teams very soon. So we're going to get PvE established, don't worry. But this is the point where you can start getting your RTA comps ready. So that way, when you're out of your daily stamina for the day, you have something to do within the game. But I will see you all in the next video. Hope this helped.